It took three years, but for the first time ever, I forgot to film an intro. So hello, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my top five favorite lashes for my small hooded little almond eyes. So if you want to hear what they are, keep watching. I have been an avid false lash fan for years now and I have quite a lot in my collection and these are the ones that I find myself consistently repurchasing and grabbing for because out of all the lashes I feel like I'm very very picky of what I genuinely love and all five of these lashes love. So let's find out what they are. <laughs> Before I get into the lashes, I quickly want to talk with you about my eye shape and why I go for the lashes that I go for and what I find to be the most flattering on me. And that's why I gravitate towards the lashes that I love. So I have small eyes, they are hooded, and they are in almond shape. So if you have a very similar eye shape to me, then this video is for you. So the lashes that I typically go for are on the lighter and smaller side. I don't like big, heavy, long lashes because my eyes are so small. They can't handle having such a thick layer of lash running across this lash line. They're too small. It's very unflattering. And not only that, I need it to be lighter and more wispy so that it looks more natural and it doesn't weigh my eyes down. It doesn't create this shadow over my little eyes. The ends also need to be wispier, meaning thicker towards the lash line line thinner and a little bit kind of crisscrossy towards the end because of my hooded lids. So if I have a really thick thick ending to my lashes then you can't see anything that is on my eyelid. Going more so into the shape of my eyes, I have an almond shape. So I don't have very many lash styles in here that are longer at the end and shorter in the tip. While I still do love the elongating effect, I have one lash in here that does elongate my eyes. I find myself to gravitate towards lashes that are actually longer in the center and then shorter in the inner and outer parts of the eyes because that actually opens up my eyes and makes them look more wide. So that's why a lot of times if you have a more round eye shape, those longer at the end lashes are going to do you good and be very flattering because they're gonna elongate the eye. But for me, because my eyes are an almond shape, meaning they're not the widest or the roundest, that longer in the center lash is going to open them up and make me look more bright eyed, make my eyes look larger. So if you have an almond shaped eye, I highly recommend looking towards lashes that are longer in the center because Right now, it is very trendy to have elongated eyes. So if you like that elongated eye look, then definitely go for those lashes that are going to be longer on the outer part of the eye. But I'm just saying, I like the look of a bigger eye. Basically, just for my eye shape, the lighter, the better, so that it doesn't weigh down my small eyes. The wispier, the better, so that you can see what's on my lids. The shorter, the better, because I have small eyes. It would be dumb for me to have eyelashes that end up here and longer in the center. That's what I go for. So if you are still interested, let's take a look at these pics. So we're gonna go in order from the lightest and most natural to the most full and dramatic. I have a range of prices. Most of them are relatively affordable. One is a $30 lash, the rest are under $10. So we're gonna start off with the most natural lash, which is the Ardell Naked Lashes. Now, these are technically two different styles, but honestly, I find that they all look the same on the eye. So let me pull them out of the boxes so that you can see. As you can see, I've been using the 421, so these are gonna be the ones that I use the most, but I really do feel like they do look very similar on the eye. I like these because they're very lightweight and thin, so you can wear them without eyeliner, and they give a lash extension look. They're very, very short in length, but they're very, very wispy and lightweight, so this is the perfect everyday lash for me. Don't hate me, but to save my eyes, I'm only gonna do one lash on one eye, and then I'll do the next one. So first, you can compare them, but second, so that my eyes don't get mad at me because I have quite sensitive eyes and pulling off and putting on lashes would kill them. So 
the glue is not 100% dry and I know it looks droopy. It's because actually my natural lashes <laughs> droop on this eye. But as you can see, very, very short, very natural. I love that you can wear these without black eyeliner. That's why it's one of my favorites. And again, this really just looks like your natural lashes, but better. So recommend this one. So let's take a look at the second lash. This is a brand called Coco Lashes. So this lash is about $6.99 and this is the style Misha and you'll see it's longer in the center, shorter on the outsides. So this used to be my everyday favorite lash. I like these because they're short in length or width I would say. They're short in width so they work really well with my short eyes. And these are a little bit more dramatic than the Ardell that I just put on but they still are quite natural-ish. This is my last pair of Misha's you guys. I've been saving these for a rainy day and yes, today's that day. Okay, so here is a look at the Misha. What I really like about these is they also have a nice curl to them going up. So that actually is gonna open up the eyes even more. If you have a lash that sticks straight down, it's going to weigh it down your eyes. So I love when lashes have a curl and what's really nice about these, they're definitely a lot longer than the Ardell's, but you'll see they're kind of in chunks so you can see what is underneath as far as the shadows go. I've not worn these lashes in forever. I forgot how beautiful these are. Oh, I've been wearing these Ardell's every single day, but if I want to glam it up a little bit more but still be semi-natural, I love it. So last look at Ardell. Last look at the Coco Misha's. Whew, I've not used these Cocos in forever. I'm kind of obsessed with them. Holy, I love them. Okay, so these are semi-new in my rotation, but they've ended up being one of my not natural, but not completely glam lashes. I feel like they're right in between, and these, I need a fresh one. Might <laughs> look disgusting. But these are actually from a small indie brand based in Washington, D.C., which I think is really cool because I live outside of D.C., and the brand is called Base Blue Cosmetics and these are the treepy lashes. I like these because they're very, very black, so that adds more to the glam factor, but you'll see they do have that wispier, lighter edge. These are the ones where they're longer on the outside and shorter up from the inside. So if I'm feeling a little bit more glam and I want a more elongated eye, I love these. Since my lashes are beginning to become a little bit more glam from this point on, I'm gonna quickly run my makeup by Mario liquid liner along my lash line so that you don't see any gaps between my natural lashes and the false lashes. And you don't need to do anything crazy with liner before lashes, just make sure that there's no gap. Okay, so here is what the treepy lashes are looking like. So you'll see compared to the other lashes, they're getting thicker at the base here and I love how black these lashes are and how natural the hair looks. So this particular style has more of a soft looking hair to it, which I think is very gorgeous gorgeous on the eye. I love these. I don't know between these last two which ones are the most dramatic. I think this one is the least dramatic. So this is a brand new one. I haven't even opened it, but I've gone through a few of these. These are from Lily Lashes and these are in the Style Con. So I'm gonna have to trim these on camera, which sucks, but here's a closer look at what they look like. And you'll see these are a little bit longer on the edges, but really not that much. It's not gonna give you that much elongation. But what I like about these is the little chunks that you have with little spaces in between, again, that are going to show your eyelid. So these are longer than most of my lashes, so they're a little bit more dramatic, but let me just show you how they look on because I love these. I haven't worn these con lashes in forever. I'm so excited to put them on, but they are a bit long, so they do take some trimming. I've been really bad about using my eyebrow and eyelash scissors for opening packages, and now they are so dull. I've been wearing the same two lashes for like the past two months. So it's nice to go back to these old favorites. I forgot how pretty they were. Ha! You know what, you guys? I thought that these looked more dramatic in the actual component, but these are actually a little bit more natural than the base blue. <gasps> I love these. They're very, very similar, but you'll see this one. You can really see those spaces in here. How pretty is this for a look that has a lot of work going on in, on the lid, but you still want a dramatic lash, but you still want to see what's on your eyes, but you have hooded eyes? Ugh, I love these. I love Lily lashes. I hear so many people say that their lashes are overrated and for the most part I'll, 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 
I'll agree with that. But there's a couple of styles from there that I have to continue purchasing. I really do. So here's one last final look. Base blue, treepy, a little bit more dramatic and stunning. And then here's a look at how Lily Lashes Con looks. <sighs> Oof, I love eyelashes. All right, so let's move on to the most dramatic lash that I love to wear on a regular basis. And this is a lash that I go for if I'm wearing a crazy glam look and I want my lashes to match that. And these are another style from Coco Lashes. And this is the style Queen Bee. Now, these by far have the thickest band of all of the lashes that I'm showing you today. As you can see, I've worn these a few times, so they look gross. I don't love the thick band, but if I'm doing a dramatic look, most likely with these lashes, the band doesn't really matter and it still is quite bendable it's very very black but you'll see it's lighter on the edges here which I really like and there's not too much elongation going on with these while it's not longer in the center it's pretty even throughout so let me throw these on for you so you can see why I like these for dramatic looks I mean compared to the other lashes these look crazy because I'm literally not wearing anything on my eyes but I swear when I have a full dramatic look these are amazing so I love these because again and they have that curl up which opens up the eyes and they're quite dramatic so they're gonna give impact to your eyes but you still can see little holes through them because they're wispier at the edges so you can still see the makeup underneath so these are the lashes that I go for when I'm wearing a crazy dramatic look and I want my lashes to just bring out the look <sighs> All right, you guys, so those are all five of my favorite lashes for my eye shape. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you pick any of these up. If you have a different eye shape than me, let me know down below what lashes you think really flatter your eye shape and, of course, what eye shape you have, and let's help each other out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.